Hello, I'm Matt Gunn from house.com and these are my top three pro model canoe snowboards of the 2020 season. Each of these boards has a rider behind them that helps develop these decks and these are the top three. Uh, it was kind of hard to choose because there's so many different pro model boards or signature series decks within the canoe line, but I think I really hit the nail on the head here. Uh, the first off, uh, the first off one is actually the Mueller. This is Nicholas Mueller's uh, all mountain free ride deck. There's a directional style board for intermediate to advanced level riders. The stance is slightly set back an inch, uh, but you'll notice that it has a long, gradual sweeping nose and a fairly quick up kick in the tail with a camber dominant C3 profile shape. This thing is one badass board, both on groom trails and in the pile. And because of the Eco 2 G2 uh, wood core, it's actually extremely, extremely lightweight. It comes in lots of wide sizes. The second one is a Force Bailey style board. Force Bailey, of course, has two pro model decks. This is the one that I like just a little bit better. Uh, this is called the Headspace. It's a park specific twin camber deck. Now, what I really like about it is that it features asymmetry. It's an asymmetrical twin. There's a tighter side cut radius in the heel, softer woods in the heel's core area that make it easier to ride, but it still has a camera dominant C3 profile shape, similar to what you'll find in the Mueller, but in a twinned up version. If you're a freestyle rider, uh, the headspace is definitely an awesome choice. And then lastly, uh, this is uh, Blake Paul's board. Blake Paul, of course, is he's from Jackson Hole. He knows how to ride a deck. This is probably the most loose and surfy feeling of the boards, but it's not the most soft. Um, now it's kind of unique because the hypercarve has a hybrid profile shape. It's called XC2. There's a reverse camera between the feet to give the board a loose feel. As you see, it teeter totters and raises up the contact points, making it less catchy. But there's still con or there's still camber underneath each foot to those contact points that give it stability at high speeds and a good amount of ollie pop. But just like the Mueller, you'll see that there's a gradual, longer sweeping style nose and a quick upturn style tail. What I like about the camber in the tail with that quick up, up kick is that it has a really nice ollie spot to it. Uh, but the cool part about this deck is that it's loose, but still very stiff at the same time. So it's kind of a unique style feel. But these are my top three pro model canoe boards for the 2020 season. The Hypercarve by Blake Paul, the Mueller by Nicholas Mueller, and then lastly, the Headspace, the Asymmetrical Twin Deck by Forrest Bailey. You can check out all these boards out at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Leave me a comment or question. Let me know what you think of the decks. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there, and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.